All right, welcome listeners. My name is Graydon and I'm here as the 2021 Canada Summer Jobs Archive Clerk broadcasting today through the facilities of Trent Radio. You may have previously heard me on the radio during the uh, previous academic year as the incoming music archivist. And during that time, I interviewed a lot of our local talents. So I'm doing that again, which is so exciting. So today I have with me the members of No Small Affair. Hey, y'all. Hey. How's it going? Hey. It's so, I'm so excited to have you here. So I I think I'm just going to start by like telling the listeners a little bit about who you, who you are so that they have like a sense of the kind of band that you are and the music that you make. And yeah, I'm going to do that. So No Small Affair are an up and coming heavy rock band from Kortha Lakes. Um, so their members include Daniel Mark, who is the guitarist and clean vocalist, Joshua Bach, who is the guitarist and harsh vocalist, Mac Clamasco, who is the drummer, and Stuart Christensen, who is the bass guitarist. And they have a broad range of styles in their sound, um, from genty modern metal riffing to hooky melodic pop punk vibes. So does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds cool, yeah. Awesome, so did you wanna just take a moment and just like, introduce each of yourselves individually for sure um who wants to go first i guess I you can go. go first man all right well uh my name's uh dan mark i uh i do the clean vocals and play uh the rhythm guitar for no small affair um yeah that's that's me <laughs> um, um i'm joshua bach and uh, i play uh lead guitar and rhythm guitar and I do the harsh vocals in No Small Affair. I am Stuart, and um, I'm the bass man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. The I bass love- man. <laughs> the bass man, I love that. It's kind of like a, a superhero name. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so um, you have a new single out, which is so exciting, and it's called haunted parentheses silhouettes and i just wanted to ask is this your debut single uh yes i would yeah i'd call it that right yeah Yeah, so was this then the first song that like you ever recorded or did you like kind of have to choose it from from other songs we definitely had to choose it from other songs um we have a whole pile of songs that we had and we were like what ones do we want to use first because we weren't sure what people would like and what we wanted to do so we kind of just went with it and recorded what we thought would sound good and we just kind of took the leap off the edge and kind of see what happened i think there's there's quite a bit of discussion in our in our little chat about like you know, what kind of vibe do we want to give off first? What kind of, so we, we I think we picked Haunted because we, we felt it, it was kind of, um, it was a good showcase for like our, our heavier side. And we wanted something that was a little kind of attention grabbing and edgy and yeah. But we have other things coming up, coming down the pipe that, that are uh, quite a bit different from that. Right, yeah. So, um. You kind of touched on already like what made you decide like this was going to be your first single but was there like was there just like this moment where you like knew that it was going to be the first single or was this like really challenging for you to pick one uh it was it was kind of challenging because um i mean we like we said we, we didn't really know exactly what we wanted to make at first but like we like a whole different assortment of different kinds of music um one of them being like heavy rock and metal music. So we just mostly, we decided with this one, since it had like a good build up and we really worked on it for a very long time. We, we felt like it would be a really good introduction song for uh, our band, kind of a grab, grab people's attention and, uh, you know, kind of let the, uh, you know, let it introduce people to our band. Yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Um... So like the experience with, with writing this song, um, how was that for you guys? It was, it was pretty fun actually. Like it's kind of a concept song. So the ever growing fear of um, 
robots taking over the world as we progress in technology. That's kind of what we went with. Um, we were like, what would it be like if in the future we everything was destroyed and robots like ruled the world and there was only these people who survived and they were getting hunted down by these robots. So we really wanted to dive into that and kind of just see where it went. It totally changed uh, though halfway through, we had a completely different song written for it in the beginning. And as we started to get closer and discuss more, we ended up changing the song completely into what it is now, which I personally think made it 100% better than it was before. Right, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, you actually um, sort of explained the message you were trying to convey, which was like really interesting because I, I had listened to it a couple times when I was like writing out my questions and stuff. And it was really, for me, it was sort of like difficult to figure out, but I kind of like that it makes you, you think, I, I have to say. Um, definitely like it's something you really have to like listen to the lyrics and think about and I think that's that's really neat and an interesting um an interesting take on songwriting yeah we we mostly tried to paint a picture more than anything of like what it would be like and kind of let the listener um come up with their own concept as well uh so we tried to make it like vague enough so you could kind of make your own uh description of the song but Mo like at the base of it we were trying to come up with like AI takeover like artificial intelligence sort of thing yeah yeah that makes sense um and what like what do you think like the process of putting this song together um musically was like for you uh it was very it was very long I, it was a long time before we finally like decided okay this is this is good we we should go with this uh because at the beginning it was very uh it was a lot different like josh said before but um when we finally like when something clicked there we he came up with like a new riff that was really um really catchy and then we were able to write like more um flowier lyrics and it, it just kind of all came together in the end there um which kind of came out like this song now yeah so like it sounds like it was like kind of a slow process am I right in, in saying that yeah it was very very slow at first because we were um you know trying to figure out how to do this like how to make the song sound because that was probably the most difficult part because writing your own music is kind of like it, it's hard to do to come up with something original and catchy at the same time but then when it finally, when we heard the final product, it was like, okay, yeah, we definitely have to go with that sound because we like that. That's awesome. I'm like, I'm really glad that it, it worked out for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so there's actually this one part in the beginning of the song that um, I believe it's in the beginning and there's a sample of like speaking, like there's somebody talking. Is that like one of you speaking or did you sample something for that? Uh, yeah, that's actually Danny speaking in uh, reverse. So we reversed the track and I forget what it even said. It was something we were trying to like do like a monologue at the beginning and it we didn't really like it. So we ended up reversing it and it ended up turning into something really cool. And we we're like, we can use that. Let's make that work. That's okay. Really cool. I actually didn't know that either. So that's really cool. I thought that, I thought that was a sample. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah I wasn't I wasn't sure what it, it was like and I was trying to decipher it but I guess because it's in reverse that <laughs> that wasn't gonna happen but I kept listening to it trying to figure out if I like if I recognized it from somewhere because in a way like it felt like recognizable and not in a way where it was like unoriginal I guess but like mm -hmm. yeah I I don't know it's it's hard to describe but it, it I it had me like wondering like if it was a sample from another um another like piece or something I guess is the word I'm looking for <laughs> we did have a sample at first um and then we were like well, what if we just like kind of make our own sound like we can maybe do a monologue at the beginning then we did the monologue 
And then we were like, okay, but then it's, it sounds way too, like, we don't really want them to know exactly what we're saying yet. So then we just, uh, we just reversed it and dropped the pitch down to make it sound really ominous. That's awesome. All right. I, I hear somebody's cat. Yeah, that, that would be, that's me. <laughs> oh, your cat's making a cameo. <laughs> I, I love when people's pets come and make cameos on a Zoom call. It's perfect. <laughs> um, so I saw on the band social media that you were teasing this upcoming project. And I was curious <laughs> if you wanted to say anything about that or if you're just kind of keeping it like very secretive for now. You say no, something? I think. Oh, go ahead, Danny. You want to say something, Josh? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. Like, if you guys want to tease it, that's fine. I mean, we're, it's coming out soon, so that's cool with me. Um, we uh, we were going for, it's kind of about, you know, the trials and tribulations of, uh, of addiction and having it affect you at home and trying to overcome it. And uh, it's different from our first single, we're going uh, more toward the pop punk side of our sound. So it's very exciting and we're pretty excited to release it and see what people think. That's awesome. Is there a release date for it yet? Or are you just kind of waiting for the right time? Uh, we haven't really like decided a particular release date, but it should be out within the first week or uh, after the first week of, um, what month are we coming up to here? June, first week of June. All right, then we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Um, and you you said um that it's like about um sort of addiction and stuff. Did you want to speak a little bit more to that? Um, yeah, it's it's about like um, I'd say it's about a guy that is uh, addicted to let's say uh, drinking and it's um it's about like going through the motions of being like addicted to something that you just can't let go but it's also about like not being able to grow out of the high school phase of like getting drunk all the time and partying with friends and just kind of yeah it's, it's about that sort of thing like just wanting to grow up and be a regular functioning member of society but like you just can't escape from that side so it's mostly about that it's a little more um a little more upbeat and it has um it's got more of a like a catchy um vibe to it rather than like a heavy metal vibe it's more like catchy pop punk it's supposed to be more like fun people can dance to it i think it's like it's it's got a strong message but it doesn't come across as like preachy in any way it's just like a fun you know hard hitting song Right. 100%. And did you find it like challenging to to make it um, in that sort of way, like where it was still like enjoyable to listen to, but still had a message to it? Um, oddly, I mean, I mean, this one was was a little less challenging to write than Haunted because we were it was like our first song. And we were like, we want to make the song like amazing and like grand. But this one just somehow it like fell together in a really nice way and when we were writing it it was like wow this all sounds so good we should we should go with this like um it, it was a it was a little challenging to come up with lyrics like obviously because you don't want people to like judge your lyrics but um the musical aspect and everything just kind of fell together because we all like enjoyed it so much so it was uh it was nice yeah it started off it started off being like a an acoustic song that actually Danny brought to the to one of the practices and he was like hey like I have this song with a chorus that I really like I think we should we can make something of it and then it kind of just went from there and fell into place like Danny said there yeah yeah that's really interesting that it sort of to, it, it went in that direction especially because I feel like with the lyrical content it totally also could have been acoustic. So it's interesting that it ended up being a very um, pop punk sort of sound. 
Yeah. yeah. Should we play it? Should we play it? Should we be a little cheeky and play it? <laughs> yes. Uh, should we, Josh? Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Stuart? I think I think we sh if we can get it some airplay, I think we should get it some airplay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. let's go for it then. Oh my gosh, this is an exclusive unreleased single. This is so exciting. Here we go. It's called Just One and it's by No Small Affair. <laughs> the upcoming single we just got to play it for the first time on the radio how is that for y'all yay that was cool that was really cool that was nerve-wracking <laughs> but cool <laughs> yeah 100 <100%. laughs> percent. i love that have to half say that, like, half time part in the chorus not to toot our own horn too much but i i love that part yeah I have to say it's really good with headphones on like this is the first time that i've i've listened to it with headphones and it's got a really good, a really solid baseline, I have to say. Thank you, Stuart. 
Thanks, bass man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I think you got to give some credit to Josh too. There, like the, we do our own, our, our, we we do our own mixing. Okay, kind of take a DI, uh, um, DIY approach to our our artwork and our mixing for these releases. Um, and I think I think uh, yeah, I think it's I think you're doing an incredible job. Thank you. I and agree. I, yeah. I, I think that like it was a very it's very tough to you know do it yourself and then finally feel like it's good enough to release for people to actually hear because <laughs> you never think that your stuff is good enough yeah that's absolutely fair um as a that's a huge fear for us like mostly when uh we're listening to our own music um but yeah you, you did a great job there josh it's really bassy and really nice on the ears. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's Your really, vocals it's really... make it, though. Oh, I love that you guys are so nice to each other. <laughs> That's just on camera. <laughs> yeah, just on camera. <laughs> as soon as I stop recording, they're going to start saying mean things to each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my goodness. So that, that was... a really great song and i'm really glad we got to play that and so that's your upcoming signal but is there any like other future plans that you you have that you're kind of hoping to talk about josh you... yeah i mean we're uh we're working on putting together an ep um but we're gonna release them i think slowly as singles um just because we are doing it all ourselves and it's a lot of work um but we are hopefully hoping to get two more out this year yeah that's that's really exciting i like i'm i have to say i'm very excited about it i'm really enjoying what i've heard so far and i think it's really ambitious like to be like we're gonna put two more out this year but i feel like that you're successful enough that like that it'll happen. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I, I feel like you can do it. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident that it'll happen. I think, I think like all, all bands who are trying to make it right now have, have learned that this is kind of the way to do it. You kind of have to just sling out singles um, and EPs and just kind of make, make as much content as, as you can and kind of maintain interest as long as you can. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing a lot. I have somebody else that I did an interview with was saying the same thing. Like it's so much about like the singles nowadays. It might've been me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. I, I did do an interview with you before with Titan Aram. That is true. Yeah, so, um, so if people like liked what they heard today and they like want to um, follow along and, and um, hear the other singles as they come out. Um, do you have like, well, I guess you do have social medias because I mentioned it, but um, like, what are they and where can people find you online? Uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook under the name No Small Affair, as well as the same thing on YouTube. Um, I think we're a, uh, no small, either official No Small Affair or No Small Affair official on Instagram. And we're also on TikTok, so. Oh, I love a good TikTok. That's that's great. I love a good TikTok. We're still trying to figure TikTok out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll have to check it out and see what you guys come up with. That's really great. Um, so I think with that being said, like I just would want to say thank you for taking the time to do this interview today. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I'm really excited that we got to do this and yeah it's really great thanks for having well, us. thank you thank very you. much so now i get to uh play your your new single which is so exciting because we talked about it and we've been like kind of holding on to it this whole time and now we get to play it so one more time with another song i have no small affair with haunted <laughs> 